Basically, the Xiaomi Electric Scooter M365 One S comes with the same specs as the M365, but I did a display and a three speed modes like the M365 Pro version. If you're wondering the specs between the three, I highly suggest you check my friend Philip's blog, Air Producer. The comparison chart is really did. Good job. So, this YS review video is pointless since you've got all the specs and probably watched all those old M365 series unboxings and reviews, right? So, let's call it a day and knock off now. But maybe there's something new? Let's check it out anyway. For the unboxing, the wires comes with the same items as the M365 Pro, but with one less screw. The Pro has five screws, YS has four screws. That's all. For the design, when comparing to the first generation M365, the biggest difference is they've added a display, like I've mentioned before. We'll get to that a little bit later. For this, as you can see the bell color on the YS now is black. The folding mechanism remains the same. The front tire looks the same. Both are 8.5 inch AR tires, but as I've confirmed with the customer service of Xiaomi, the front tire on the YS is thicker than the M365. But that's hard to prove, right? Unless I cut them up and compare, but that would be too costly. Anyway, good news. Move to the rear tire. I noticed that the buckle on the fender and the disc brake are different. For the wires, they are using the ones from the M365 Pro version. That's great because the soft rubber prevents paint loss when you buck your scooter and thicker disc brake will not bend easily. Thumbs up for that. Oh, one last difference on the wires is the charging port cover. It's magnetic like the Pro version. Overall for the design, as you can see, the wires is not just a M365 with a display. It does add some good parts from the Pro version. I would say it's a refined M365. Now, let's power the thing on. Short press once to turn on, then you can connect to Mi Home app. The app looks the same as before, nothing changes. While it's on, short press twice to switch between different speed modes. Eek mode gets you up to 15 km per hour, D mode 20 km per hour, and S mode bumps up to 25 km per hour. For more of the gesture control and the display, you can check the unboxing video on Sammy Tactics channel. I'm not gonna elaborate here. Basically, it's the same as M365 Pro, but I do notice there's something new. For the wires, they've added an activation feature. That means the first time you turn it on, you have to connect it to Mi Home app to activate. Otherwise, there will be beeps and you cannot use it. Also, I found that once it paired to one device, you have to unbind from that device in order to connect to a new device. Good, it surely gives us a sense of security in some way. By the way, there is an interesting upgrade for the wires. Is now it can only connect to the Mi Home app, not like its predecessors can connect to Segway Nambot app. Okay, not about the writing experience. I personally feel it's better than the M365 I feel more stable and smooth, but technically, since the wires uses the same 250 watt motor as the M365, I'm not sure if it's out of my own psychological effect because the wires is brand new or something. <laughs> but anyway, you will find the wires handles all kinds of city roads pretty well. Also, no problem when you are going up slopes. It has good shock absorption because of the air tires, you're gonna love that. But since it doesn't have suspension, so I don't suggest you ride on bumpy terrain, especially for girls. As for the battery life, it looks the same as the first generation. The max range is 30 kilometers on a single charge, but I think there might be something different because they put a lot of focus on the battery management systems on the YS product page. But that needs some time to tell, isn't it? So please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. We'll update this later. So to conclude, the M365 YS is not something they just put a display on the first generation and call it an update. Though the display is 
quite an improvement for the better use experience. It also borrows a really good amount of refinements from the Pro, like the disc brake and other details I've mentioned before. And you know, it's lighter than the Pro version. Even a girl can pick it up and go, you know, sort of. For the buying suggestion, if you already own an M365 or the Pro version, then don't bother to check. But if you are a newbie looking for an entry-level electric scooter to commute or have fun, then it is a perfect scooter. It's well designed, easy to use, smooth ride, and of great value. It's worth every penny, and in my opinion, it could be one of the best budget e-scooters, if not the best budget in 2020. All right, for the price and availability, please check out the link in the description or on the screen. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click right here to subscribe. I'm Sammy, see you next time.